Have anybody ever been redeemed from the hand of an enemy? Raise your hand if you have. I've been redeemed. God pulled me out of the clutches from somebody who thought they were after me. They thought they had me, but God pulled me from the clutches. He said, let the redeemed of the Lord say so. Can I tell you something? If you're ever going to get out of debt, you got to say so. You look at your checkbook and that zero balance or that negative balance or whatever it is at the end of the month you look at that stack of bills and you start saying exaltation is coming you start speaking over those bills you stack them up and instead of going and popping a Tylenol and getting depressed and sitting out on the back porch and crying yourself to sleep why don't you stack that up and put a Bible on top of it and say in the name of Jesus I don't know when I don't know how but he's done it before and he'll do it again I don't know where it's coming from I don't know who he's going to use to bless me but one of these things I know is that God will not leave me in the hand of debt God will pull me from the clutches and save me if you're believing to get married then you start saying that over yourself when you get to the mirror don't say nobody wants somebody like me no you get to say listen I'm going to make somebody so happy Woo! when they get a hold of this they're going to smile for years when they get a hold all, all of God is doing inside of me. You just wait because some of God is preparing somebody right now in my life. And when they get all of this stuff that God is doing in me, God is getting me ready for what he has ready for me. And he's got somebody. You start talking like that. You start believing that. You start saying that. You can't just say, well, you know, all my friends have got married and I'm always a bridesmaid and never a bride. No. Stop talking like that. You start speaking life over yourself. You are not forsaken. You are not cast down. You are not destroyed. You are still on the potter's wheel. And God is making you into something amazing. You want a better job? You don't like the job you have? Quit complaining about it. Start calling in a new one. Start speaking in a new one. Call in the promotion. Speak in the promotion. Father, I see myself in a different desk. You know, I don't have to covet my boss's job. But God, whether it's here or there, wherever it's going to be, you are going to promote me because your word said that promotion comes from the Lord. And God, you said that you exalt kings and you knock down kings. Well, God, if you can exalt kings, you can certainly make me a manager. God, I'm believing that in Jesus' name. I'm declaring that in Jesus' name. If you got a broom in your hand right now, that's okay. You keep sweeping and and declaring. You keep sweeping and saying in the name of Jesus I'll not have this dust rag in my hand forever but one of these days somebody will come and empty the trash out of my office because I'm declaring that in Jesus name I am speaking life instead of death. Whatever you're needing from God. You need that scholarship start claiming it. Start saying it. Start believing it. Let the redeemed of the Lord say so. You've been bought with a price. You you can declare something and God will establish it because Jesus has already paid for it. Hallelujah. If you believe that, give God praise in his house.